Hey guys, how y'all doing? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode and chapter of Ruby Volume 5 on chapter <clears throat> 4 or episode 4. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Those of you guys who watched the episode will understand how I'm feeling right now. Oh. I haven't made like a freaking like um upcoming Twitter on the thing, which I always have a Twitter, etc. Always tweet out certain replies, certain pictures here and there. Spoilers, by the way, but what's to come? So if anything else, let's just get this started, okay? Okay, let's go. We have to it that Yang brings a guy to a certain location and waits for further orders, but apparently she gets. Ambushed apparently, but easily and or effortlessly defeats them all. All these bandits whatsoever, which is revealed later. And apparently we have to it that um, the guy says, Once Raven finds out about this, you're dead. And Yang says, Oh, then you're out of luck. Because you know what? I am her daughter. Then the guy says, Who brought her to a trap? I'm dead. <laughs> he falls out unconscious. I'm like, idiot. Too bad you got your luck ran out it's as well. We have to it that um, we get a scene, scene switch with um, Ruby training her hand-to-hand -hand combat with like um, Oscar. Oscar does get defeated, but not before he lands a couple good punches on Ruby. And of course, um, Ozpin takes over and effortlessly defeats Ruby, and she got injured pretty badly. But it doesn't really matter from there, but it looks like Oscar is really exhausted, which is to be ex expected because he never had... Um, Real hand to hand, real hand to hand combat training at all, and that's when Ren tells him like, um, "You're not used to this yet." And he and and then Ren does talk about um aura and semblance and how it works, etc. While Ruby's semblance makes her move fast, Nora Nora's lightning ability makes her very stronger, and John doesn't know her semblance. And Ren therefore also gives out information how a semblance represents a part of who you are, like your personality. And character can define your semblance. Some say it's the other way around, or some do not even know the connection at all. And we had to it that Nora gives out like um, a history how Ren's semblance came about when he was extremely stressed out, and Ruby got hers in training one day. And Nora was struck by lightning and did not die, etc., and gotten her stronger. Although John feels very doubtful about his semblance or his training because he has not, it looks like he has not much improved. But Ozpin took, so, takes over Oscar's body and encourages the others and John himself to keep training and then you will like, um, how am I supposed to say it, grow into better war fighters and warriors later in the future. And of course, after all, like, um, yeah, that's pretty much only 5% of the episode. I'm pretty sure those of you guys like um, watch the chapter episode of Ruby Volume 5 will understand that this was pretty much at least 90 to 95% of the episode overall entirely. We had to it that after Yang beats up the bandits that led her to a trap, well that bandit, we had to it that she finally meets her mother. I expected like a very very rough intense conversation which I did get. I'll get to that in just a second. I had to jot down these notes because like um it was pretty relatable and it was gonna be very big to talk about. We have to it that after Yang meets her mother, Yang compliments um her for having to find her everywhere. It took her years, even if almost led her to death's door to not give up. And Raven is happy to answer her questions anywhere but Yang on the other hand says I'm not here to have any questions answered. She therefore asks Raven to help her find Ruby and Ruby says why would I help you do that huh and Yang replies because we're family. Raven goes like you're pretty dis dis disappointed in her because she goes like if Ruby is with Crow then there's no way in heck that she's she's a good opportunity to even find her. But before that even is said, we have to it that Yang reveals that this is Raven's semblance. Like, there are many people that she bonded with, and those sh who she bonds with, she's able to create a portal that leads her to them. And thanks, this is thanks to Tai's um, knowledge. And therefore, of course, she has one for Tai, Crow, and Raven. No wonder she's able to like visit them entirely. Well, 
I mean, Ty, Yang, and Kroll. Sorry, what the heck I'm saying. And Raven compliments her daughter's um, goal to want to help Ruby out, but she tries to convince Re Yang to stay out of this business because it will only get complicated, and it might show that she still has some care for her, but not entirely to a point where she would, she would like, um, give more of a kindness or just or caring kind of gesture to her. And of course, like, um, Yang does not want to hear any more words about that, and she says she wants to find her sister. And therefore, Raven compliments her stubbornness, and Yang's like, where do you think I get that from? You, obviously. And therefore, Ra Raven says, you know what, if you're going to be like this, our conversation is done. Get the hell out of here. She even asks her subordinates to take to take her, um, take her away. Yang gets really angered and says, didn't I not ask you? Take me to my damn sister. <laughs> and then, like, um, freaking like, um, a bandit tells her, Hey, you better watch your mouth, kid, or you're gonna get it. And therefore, Ray Yang's like, Make me! Come at me! And therefore, the bandit gets really angry and tries to hit her, but Yang effortlessly punches her to a certain tent to where Weiss is at, and that tent falls down and Weiss is in a cage, and Weiss, who escaped from her bonds, is about to escape. We have to it that, um, that, um, Weiss is like, Yang? And then Yang's like, Weiss? What are you doing here? And then Weiss uses her night, night semblance to break out of the cage and they reunite together to maybe fight off the other bandits. And we have to it that, um, Weiss is like, what are you doing here? And Yang's like, well, my mother might be able to help me find Ruby or something. And Weiss is like, your mom kidnapped me? And then Yang's like, you kidnapped Weiss? And then this really got, yeah, Raven's like, oh man, this is really going to be troubling. And we have to it that, um, before they get into a major hand-to-hand -hand combat with the entirety of the bandit camp, we have to it that one of Raven's subordinates stopped, stopped them with her lightning power or semblance related, possibly. To stop them from like um, fighting. And Raven's like, if you all don't keep your composure, we're all gonna die by Grimm, okay? Because we all know that Grimm is attracted to negative emotional energy, and the moment they find it, they cause major mischief and chaos or destruction. And we have to it that like um, Raven asks ask her subordinate to return her weapon to Weiss, and then therefore Raven tells Weiss. And Yang to get into her tent, and Yang's like, "Why would I want to do that?" And therefore Yang's, and therefore Yang's mother or Raven says, "If you really are serious of going after Ruby, then you need to know the real truth of what's going on here." And therefore, like, um, we had to it that the emotional reunion between Yang and Weiss was really good because it looks like to me Weiss ends up hugging Yang and she says, "I missed you so much," and Yang says, "I missed you too." For a long time. And I'm pretty sure y'all realize like. It's been very very long. I mean like um, started from volume 4. From what I heard in rumors etc. It was like 6 to 8 months. That has passed ever since the fall of Beacon etc. And I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm getting at here. So yeah. Throughout this episode. In simple summary. If you're not wanting to hear much of the details etc. Um, this is pretty much like. Um. Ruby and the others are training right now while Yang meets up with her mother after dealing with a couple of bandits and asks her to help her out. Although Raven tries to convince her otherwise, but eventually after reuniting with Weiss at the bandit camp and about to get into a clash, Raven says possibly says otherwise and gives wants to give Yang and Weiss about what's going on here. So overall, I gotta say the episode was pretty slick. I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad Yang managed to meet her mother, and I expected a very sour, intense conversation, which came out pretty true. And Yang and Weiss is reunited. I can't wait till they reunite with Ruby. Now all we need is Blake, which I hope to see later. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm off of zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll be sure to see you guys next time. Right? Peace out. Bye bye. Do do do.